Hey guys, so every time Apple releases a new software update, there's always new features and hitting options on your iPhone that Apple adds that I'm sure you probably don't know about. Now I know how much you guys enjoy these videos, so today I'm going to show you a few iPhone tricks I'm pretty sure you did not know about. So let's just dive right into this video. Now as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now the first feature I would like to talk about is called dim flashing lights and I'm sure you probably did not know about this one but let me show you a video example here on YouTube. Now you see this video here with flashing lights. Now this may bother your vision. Now a lot of music videos sometimes have these random flashing lights and if this bothers you there's actually an option that I recommend you have always enable on your device. You want to go into settings here then you want to go into accessibilities and then under accessibilities you want to go into motion right there under motion the new option is available dim flashing lights once you enable it right there it will dim the lights and you can barely notice the flashing lights on the video as you can see right there so yeah this option i always keep on by default because sometimes you may be watching a video and these flashing lights may appear so this way you can look into this option and prevent from straining your eyes i think it's a really cool feature built into the iphone now this next feature allows you to create a wallpaper that's specific to your iphone's display size after taking a picture now you want to go ahead and take a picture right with your camera and then you want to go into your photos application so here's a picture i took of flowers here at disney's epcot right here i can click on the edit option here i can click on the crop option on the bottom here and then i can go ahead and select the size right here under the size options once you select it here's the picture it doesn't matter is it vertical or landscape you can select from original you have free form you have square and then you have this option here which is wallpaper again the great thing about this option is that it creates a wallpaper that's specific to your iphone's display size so right here i'm going to go ahead and select mickey here for this wallpaper and click done once i click done i can of course apply the wallpaper onto my iphone and this will create a wallpaper that is specific to the size of the display on my device just like so now if you like to take pictures of family members and you want to post them as wallpapers for the best quality this is the best way to go to create the best highest resolution and best fitting wallpapers for your iphone directly within the camera of your iPhone and the Photos application, which creates a specific wallpaper size for your device. So definitely an option you should definitely look into. Now this next feature is for those of you who love to read books on your iPhone and or iPad. It works on the iPads as well. So you wanna go into the Books application. And let's say I wanna go ahead and read this guide right here. Now when I swipe through pages, of course I can slide just like so through my pages. But now if you go into the options here for your books, you have a new option that Apple has re-added, which was here before from years ago now it's called curl now you can go into the options here to swipe select curl and now when you swipe through pages it's like you're swiping through pages on a real book now this is something simple but yet I really really enjoy this because it gives the OS sort of life and let me know if you uh, read books on your iPhone or guides or magazines or on your iPad and you like this option because I think once again it gives the OS life it just I really like it I just think it's something simple but yet very very pleasing to the eye when reading a book so let me know if you enjoy this particular feature now this next one I'm sure probably most of you guys never heard about but it's going to help you prevent from accidentally hanging up on someone now have you ever been on a call let's go ahead and call myself here and once you answer you accidentally click on the side button here and it will end the call by accident well there's an option on your iPhone to prevent this from happening and let me show you so let's go into settings here let's go into accessibilities here and then let's go into touch and right here we find the new option prevent lock to end call and this will allow you to prevent from hanging up on someone when you accidentally click on the side button when you're in a call so right now if I click on the call answer the call and I click on the side button it won't hang the call it would just take me to the lock screen without accidentally hanging up on that person which is something that I'm sure many of you guys probably didn't know about but this one is a really awesome feature and last but not least I would like to share a feature called access iCloud data on the web now if you ever accidentally lose your iPhone and you want to access your data from iCloud.com you want to go into settings 
iCloud, then go into the iCloud options. And at the bottom of the screen, you have a new option, access iCloud data on the web. Once you enable this, you'll have access to your calendars, your contacts, your reminders, your photos, and everything through iCloud.com. In case you ever lose your device, this one is a lifesaver. Once you redirect yourself, go to iCloud.com, log in with your Apple ID, and you'll have access to everything from your emails I mentioned, from even your Find My stuff, also your photos, your calendar, events, and everything like that. So you want to allow access of this with iCloud.com in case you ever lose your device. This will be a lifesaver. All your files and everything will be here. Let me know what you think about these hidden features on the iPhone. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.